Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, you see the hair? Not too much. I just, I just wanted my hair to look somewhat presentable for this video. Today is a new episode of Confessions. Like. Like always, like always, yeah. Before I hop right into this video, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Now, let's get into this shit show. I break up with my boyfriend slash girlfriend when they don't answer me after two minutes. That's toxic. Oh, right. I love my best friend, like romantically. But he has a girlfriend. But then again, we've kissed almost five times while he's been dating her. <laughs> Where's the loyalty? I told her and she said she doesn't care and I was like, okay. Then he likes me back so he really confuses me and on top of that, he's been touching on me while he got a girl. <laughs> Let's just say that relationship might not last. <laughs> One time me and my friends were watching corn in class and we didn't realize we were connected to the school Wi-Fi. And my teacher said, whatever you guys search up on school property, we can see it. I have never watched corn in school again. Why would you do it in the first place? Why would you do it in the first place? And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I feel like the teacher was lying. I've had a teacher that's told me that before. Not saying that I was doing that. I was saying the kids in the class, you know, they was trying to be funny. I've heard that before. So that, that actually might be true. That might be true. Once when I was four, I found this thing that vibrates. Also, I found in my mom's dresser under her pants. So I took it inside my room and shoved it up my asshole. And when it came out, it was bloody. The next day I had hemorrhoids. My mom found it under my pillow bloody. P.S. Love you, Mango. At around the age of four, when you find random things, you usually put it, you know, like and random objects in your mouth. <laughs> you took it a step further and started to put it in your rear end. And you have you got hemorrhoids. <laughs> How'd I go for you? When I was six to seven, I drank a cup that I thought had juice in it, but it was pee. Who the hell is peeing in a cup? We smell it? We smell the urine? I mean, okay, so it was juice. You didn't even think it was water. That means it was it was yellow. That means it was a mellow yellow color. What did you think it was? Mountain Dew? You didn't smell the cup? Me and my younger half-brother used to have sexual relations and no one knew about it. Well, I do now. I mean, like, is it really say that's your half-brother? Nah, it's sick. Cause if you said stepbrother, that means you had not even one lick of DNA close to each other. Mm-mm, mm-mm. We don't do that. I lost my V card in New York on my boyfriend's grandma's bed. That was in seventh grade and he was in eighth. Love you, Mango. The disrespect, the disrespect on the grandma's bed. That woman is legendary. That woman is a legend. You gonna disrespect by doing, by having rump? By doing the rump on her bed? I don't know how to dance with Kaleen. I make the ghetto bitch put the hands on her knees. I make the ghetto bitch put the hands on her knees. Hey Mango, I'm new to your channel cause I seen it on Insta. Bitch. Actually, comment down below where you guys find me. Did you guys find me on TikTok? Did you guys find me on Instagram? Or I'm gonna do a little something, something special for y'all, whatever. So my mom was out one time and I asked her to hang out with my friends and then go to my boyfriend's. She said, yeah, that's cool as long as I have a ride. So then I went to my friends and then the next day we went to the mall. Then the next day after that, my boyfriend's mom came to pick me up with him and all his siblings in the car. We got some McDonald's. After that, we headed back to his house and we watched Zootopia. How lovely. And that's when we started to get touched and kissy then after a while of him finger popping me we went to the basement and did the birds and the bees <laughs> and then his mom caught us but not while he was in me or anything his mom got mad at him because he didn't brush his teeth when he kissed but he breath wasn't bad you know what um thank you for the story time thank you for the story time don't do it again how do i tell my friend that i already i already f the guy she likes that's cold me personally if i was your friend i would have already i would have been I really would. So one day she told me she really liked this one guy in class and then when I realized who she was talking about, I got real quiet. Me and him still effing and he has no feelings for her. What do I do? Oh, I think you should tell her. I mean, if the guy is telling you that he don't got feelings for her, you know what I'm saying? Just tell your friend. Listen, like I'm currently, you know, saying doing the do with your crush. I think you should tell her. So one day I came home from school and was so corny. So I decided to, but that was lame and I wanted something in me. So I took the curtain rod that was laying on my dresser and put it in my ass. A few seconds later, I tried to pull it out, but I guess it got caught in my rectal area till I had to push so hard that I was forcibly peeing, but I managed to get out before anyone got home. Only came with a sore rectal area and a little blood from the teenage boy. You gotta go. You gotta go. It's a certain things like, why would you? You couldn't just whack off? You you had to go the extra mile. The whole curtain rod? I'm about to throw up. It was this one time I felt really corny and I spread my legs open in the shower and let the water hit my moochie and it felt so good. You know, I have a friend who did that. 
you know, like I have a friend. I walked into my boss's office and saw him getting brain from my brother. I was sucking my girlfriend's la creme de la meow meow and my mom came in and whipped me with a whip causing me to scream and bite down when i did i bit my girlfriend's and she left and blocked me i blocked you too if you know your mom just walked in right you still gonna continue you're not gonna stop and be like oh no mom like you gonna keep eating Ooh. So it was this one time when I was in fourth grade, I was in the stall taking care of my business, as you should. My friend crawled under the stall with her underwear off and she stared at me while I was peeing. I felt very uncomfortable and didn't know what to do. I just let her watch me pee. You guys have very, very worrisome relationship with your friends. When I was a little kid, I used to love ketchup a lot, like a lot, a lot. To the point where I'd put, where I'd be eating apples with ketchup and tacos with ketchup and soup or candies with ketchup. I don't recommend y'all trying this. I don't know how I survived with this. It's, it's okay. This is the first step. This is the first step to realizing that you are batshit crazy. I put cracked melatonin in my mom's drink and she went to sleep. You drunk her? You gotta go. We got them. Brought them up. <laughs> When I blow this whistle, that means you cross the line. Hey, Mango, I need some advice. So basically, I sent a picture of my Coco Melon Cherry to this boy, and he screenshot it, and now he's showing it around school. You should have known that was going to happen. You should have been knew that was going to happen, sweetie. I don't know what to tell you. I walked into the school girl's bathroom, and someone was giving someone head. Love you, Mango. They didn't explain this in High School Musical, so you know what I'm saying? It's not even your fault, for real. When I'm bricked up, I really just put your videos as background noise while I'm finger-popping my Bermuda Triangle. Tee hee hee. While I read my fan fiction about Shrek and Obama, it's so hot. I, you wanna join? what my videos are for that's not what they're for i found your home address me and greet and i got i got the mangoes ready for our little session by the way love you love your videos i'm either gonna have to move or get security because what is wrong with you what, what session on wednesdays i make my family lick in between my toes love you mango to an all girls classic school and I once wore a thong under my skirt and left behind period blood on the seat so you, you didn't know you was on your period that's that, that th talking about why was you wearing a thong you go to a catholic school i'm ashamed of everyone i've had a crush on in the past i felt that i felt that i dropped my mom's baby when i was seven so now he's retarded what's that song the girl's retarded. when i was seven me and my sister used to eat each other out and now i want to murder that moochie every chance i get seek help hey mango my graduation is coming up and we have to walk down the aisle with our own song but i need help finding one can you help me i got you i y'all know i got y'all with the tune I, i'm i'll put you on to two songs okay two songs Yay. hi mango give me a number any number eight Okay. Bye. I have weird friends, y'all. I really do. Like what? Legit. I don't think nobody touching a bitch. When I hop on the shit, I'm a fast. I hustle like this thing gets to the bag. So that's one song, and then here's another one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Niggas say whatever, I'ma do whatever. No pain is forever. Yep, you know that. Them two songs, a statement piece in itself. I really hate these bitches at my school, and they are so dumb and annoying. They act like they all that. I just want to slap all of them because they all they all such brats. They all flat and boneless. I got the nerve to be talking shit. Period. Clear. I'm 14 and I date an 18 year old. We've been together for a year now. These are their stories. <laughs> I'm new to your channel, but your videos be so funny. It makes me very happy when I'm not in a good mood. I hope you blow up, girl. You deserve it. Ooh, I'm telling you, we gonna get there. Can I eat your 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 rectal? Who sent Who sent me this? That's what if my friend sent me this, I'm gonna curse him out. Peyton, Peyton, you for real? I'm about to share my screen. You sent me this? I submitted. I submitted a completely different one. Actually, that fake could have been me. I don't even know. I'm not gonna lie. It could have been me. I could have not been me. I definitely submitted something, but I don't think it was dead. I was dead. That was this one. That's it, okay, man. Let me see. Give me 360. Per, okay. Mm. Mm, okay. You got, you got
this is still fresh and I'm embarrassed. So I had a hoodie on from period two to seventh. But seventh, I started to get hot because I was running to class. I was late. I had to take off my hoodie. I had a crop top on and I, I don't usually wear them. But when taking off the hoodie, I guess my shirt and my bra lifted up and I did it in front of two boys. But I have a deep feeling that they are lying because my bra is pretty tight. Like it hurts. And today is Monday and I don't know what to do. And one of the boys is my ex crush. And I was scared so I'm really in need of help and I swore them to secrecy. I mean, like, it's okay. Like, it happens. You know what I'm saying? When you got big coco lachatas, that type of stuff happens. When you got a crop top on, you got a sweater the whole time, you take it off, the melons is out. You know, I got bullied every day and I swear I have to cut people all 24 seven because they break my trust. Do you have any any advice? Love you, Mango. Any advice? Yes. Cause I used to be bullied like crazy. Not everyone that has bullied me in the past now wants to be my friend. <laughs> What I can say is cut them off. You're doing a great job, sweetie. They wanna bully you and, 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 and try to belittle you as a person, cut them off. Cause they will be back. I f my boyfriend at the winner's dressing room. I'm not gonna lie, I've come close to doing that in an H&M um, dressing room one time. One time, not too much. I shoved an entire AP exam booklet and the answer sheet up my badissi. No one was looking, felt very good, and I sold the answers onto the black market. So purr. I tell you guys this every episode. Nothing belongs up there, sweetie. Especially not an AP exam booklet. Are you crazy? I slept with my best friend's boyfriend three times, and one of those times it was at her sleepover. I also broke her leg so she wouldn't be able to play track with me. And our friend group, I felt no guilt and and happy she failed high school because of me i think you're the problem yeah i don't know i think why would you do that what did she do did she do something to you i don't want to say but this sounds unprovoked last year i was at a friend's sleepover for her birthday there was a few guys and three girls including me and we were all laying around playing truth or dare i don't remember the question they asked her she told us she let her dog lick her meow and we all went silent and just kind of laughed about it, but we secretly, we secretly wanted to leave. The absolute trauma that Chick gave us. My whole friend group needs mango protection. Yes. Hey Mango, I've been watching your videos for a while now. You really helped me at my lowest. You put a big smile on my face. It made me laugh plenty of times when I needed the most. I love you, Mango. Aya. Oh, I love you too, boy. I love as a kid, I was like six or seven. I went through my mom's camera roll and I found it. I went and I went to her hidden photos. It's hidden for a reason, darling. You don't go there, but let's see. I should have mind my business anyways. I seen a picture of a dick out of my mother. <laughs> Why did she take that photo? That's not ladylike. I need to I think you need to talk to your mom about that. Let her know you, you saw that so she could reevaluate herself. I'm dumb as fuck for trying to eat while watching confessions because bitch. Gross. My video is not something that you watch, you sit down and eat. What you can do, you could go to the vlog channel. You could eat while you're watching the vlogs, but not not this. If you eat while you're watching this and, you are, and you're fine afterwards, you're sick. Something's mentally f***ing ill with you. When I went to my last family gathering, I saw my cousin and she is really, 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 really sexy. And I will smash her. I think I'm going to kiss her when I see her. Keep anonymous. There's other fishes in the sea. They out the family tree. That's disgusting. There was a time when I was in my room and I was in such a mood. I shoved a perfume bottle up my, my moochie. It wasn't enough, so I made space to put my electric toothbrush in there and it felt better. Get out. Hello, Mango. So I sent you this back in November, but you never read it. But this is my story. I had a girlfriend and I am a girl. We dated for three months and when I and then I saw she started getting really touchy with this other girl. So I confronted her about it. She said that I was delusional. Mm, manipulation. I broke up with her. She started saying that I was a greedy I confronted her about it and she said, yeah, what about it? I started swinging at her and I threw that bitch to the trash. Love you, Mango. Period. Clear her. I shoved the coke can up my ass. My boyfriend let me eat his ass and then he ate me out. Can you possibly help me with trying to come out to my parents as gay? Boy, by the way. I don't know. Like, well, everything that I, I mentioned already, I feel like, like, what else can you really do? I said to make a PowerPoint. I told you guys to make do sudden hints with food. I told you guys to put, you know, like, little, little gay flags everywhere in random spots. What else can you really do? Mm, I know. Since Mother's Day is literally tomorrow, you, have to, you, probably, you guys are not probably going to see this until after Mother's Day. For the next holiday, what's the next holiday after this father's day right father's day buy a a dildo wrap it up real nice make it look like make it look like it's like something like expensive right Put a little card with it that says happy father day uh number one father blah blah, blah whatever bullshit right but then when he opens the package right he's gonna open the package and he's gonna see that it's a dildo and you're gonna walk away at that moment they should know that you are 
part of the LGBTQ+. I was doing it with my man, with my man and he didn't know I was on my period. He is very religious. But he found out he saw the blood all over the bed and he licked it up like a dog. And ate me out instead of f***ing me. And then I gave him brain and he sucked my thought. What is this? What do you mean he's religious? What religion requires you to lick, eat the blood? I mango. Did I break up with my boyfriend? He is a drug dealer and in a gang. I love him, but I feel like his lifestyle is too fast paced for me. He treats me well and even makes sure to make time for me and his schedule. What schedule? That man can't even do taxes. That man can't even do taxes. I'm done reading this. Leave, leave that man alone. I use hand sanitizer to beat my me. I just love the burning sensation. Get the f out. Like, so how did you discover that you like this? Like, did you like, were you like, like laying down like this? So you, you thought this was the lotion, right? Got the lotion, but you, you, you know, you sitting there, you watching your thing and you go, do do. And it like, is that how you found out that you enjoy that type of stuff? Or am I just, am I just bugging? Mango, howdy, we chatted before. Huge fan. Been wonderful watching you go from 12k to 32. Anyways, my ex best friend nearly let me unalive myself. She looked me dead in the eyes and started talking and started talking about herself. Well, two years later, she's getting her back blown out behind the bleachers by someone who wants to make her a teenage mother. On top of that, all of my other ex friends are suffering as well. As my abusive ex, he is now a cat boy and I'm down 80 pounds with straight AIDS. Karma's a Karma's a bitch, I guess you know it now. That just shows you that the universe is always gonna be on your side. Every time I see you, baby, I wanna eat your delicious, fat, juicy moochie. You know, I was on live yesterday. I posted the live on my Instagram if you guys wanna go watch it, but when of you guys told me that you found a Wattpad story of me? But when I clicked the link, it was a lie. So I better not ever see a Wattpad story of me. Okay? Mango, my B-Day is coming. Can you please buy me a Dizzy? DYL cardboard cutout of what? A cardboard cutout of what? You could get a happy birthday. Sometimes when I'm corny, I go to my family's dining table and stick the table corner up my wop. Hashtag live, love, laugh. We eat there. You eat at the table. Why would you do that? Do you sanitize it after? Okay, update. My brother got the cardboard cutout out of the trash can and snuck it for my mom and enrolled it. My mom caught them. Now she sent them to boarding school. Gotta love the mom. Gotta love the mom. I literally got pregnant from that giveaway you did. Why, why'd you put sperm in it? Don't say that. No, I did not. So I found a d you on AliExpress and it came today and it's literally 15 and two fourths big. I stuffed it today in my cooch and thought about you the entire day. Get out. I went to my mother's room to go look for some bed sheets and I found her underwear on the floor and I picked it up and it had red brownish stains on it with discharge too. I was starving and had nothing to eat so I ate it off her underwear. My boyfriend would often get really corny when I wasn't there and I left my dog with him and when I came back my dog died and we checked how he died. They found out there was nut in my dog's vagina. Oh, girl, you gotta leave him. I hope you left him. My confession is that I regret losing my V-card to the boy I lost it to. And I feel like I should have waited until I was a junior or a senior. Am I wrong? You're not wrong, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Like, but like everyone says, you're you're always gonna regret your first time. You know what I'm saying? But you're saying it already happened. It's okay. It's not much you could do. It's not like you could go back in time and just, like, change stuff. You know what I'm saying? It already happened. But it's okay. We all live, we learn. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. You know, this is this, just another video of me, you know, proving that you guys are batshit crazy. And you guys need to be admitted into a mental institution. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Everybody shake, 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 sh